Liberals sending a very clear message that no matter what happens, there can never be peace. And Katy Perry found that out. We're going to get into the details. Before I go any further, guys, if you enjoy the daily content I put out for you here on YouTube, I encourage you guys, you can help support what I do over on Patreon for as little as $5 a month. Patreon.com slash conservative truth. That link in the description also gets you access to over 25 exclusive podcasts where I talk more about sensitive information. You get the alerts for anything that goes out there on the Patreon, unlike YouTube, where you're not going to be notified of all the videos that I put out. Even if you have that bell selected because YouTube doesn't like me, but I know you guys do like me. So when you get done watching me here, browse back, check what you've missed. Please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. So Katy Perry, you guys know this. She's not a Trump supporter, okay? She's a liberal. She's a Democrat, okay? She supported Joe Biden in the election. However, after the election was over, she went out there and put out a tweet saying that despite the fact that she knows that she differs with her family when it comes to politics, her family, you know, a Christian, you know, pastors, evangelists, you know, Katy Perry's background. She was, you know, born and raised in the church, basically. And then as she grew older, she kind of walked away from it, you know, and, and we pray that one day she comes back to that at some point. However, she put out here in a tweet that the first thing she did was actually call up her parents and tell them how much she loves them, despite what was going on. She knows. I mean, it's it's right down the middle. I mean, they they couldn't be any further, you know, opposite between the two of them. And that's what she was trying to do. She was trying to promote unity between families here, those that are just so just... You know, all the, the vitriol and everything from family members that are on one side, one's on the other, uh, the fighting, everything that's been going on, especially going into the holiday season. She was trying to send that message. Then she said that, you know, stand with family. But she got torn up on social media for this. People saying that she's coming from a point of a mindset of privilege and that how dare you call for peace with somebody as horrible as Trump. Look, these are right now people who supposedly think that Biden has won this thing. And look, they're still angry. They're still angry, even though he's the supposed winner. Wait wait till uh, they see what happens when this thing is overturned and it goes uh, in Trump's favor. You think you've seen angry. You know, you haven't seen angry yet. And I think Katy Perry needs to take a look at this and realize that, you know what? This is the side where you're leaning on. These people who are there attacking you, these are the ones you supposedly stand with. And she might, you know, have to take a look in the mirror and say, you know what? Is this really what I want to be a part of? Maybe this would be a wake-up call for her in a sense to, you know, maybe go back to her roots, where she came from. It, it Maybe it would take something like this. Maybe that's what it's going to have to take. People all of a sudden, you know, calling to boycott her music, you know, everything else that she does. Maybe she stands up and said, you know what, I've had enough. I'm not going to take this anymore. You know, who are you to tell me, you know, what I can and can't say? who I can and can't be friends with because of political leanings. I'm just saying you never know. Maybe it doesn't lead to anything at all. And she just, you know, brushes it off and continues to go about her ways and, and just takes a criticism basically and doesn't really do anything about it. I guess we'll, that remains to be seen. We'll see where it goes. But I love the message that she did here, you know, trying to promote unity. You know what? That's a great message for all of us. You know what? If you have members of your family that were for one side or the other, you know what? Try to come together, especially coming out towards the holidays. You know what? If you're a Trump supporter, look, I have full confidence this thing is going to go in our favor. After everything is investigated, everything is all said and done, it's going to come back and it's going to be just fine. So just something to think about. But what do you guys think about the backlash for Katy Perry? You can let me know in the comment section. I'll have more information for you in the description. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.